Hello, my name is KK and this is The Recovering Perfectionist. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to do a shopping slash haul video. So we'll start off with a vlog style video where I show you what I tried on at the mall and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I actually purchased. I went to TJ Maxx, um, American Eagle, and Forever 21, but I went to a few other stores too and you'll get to see what I tried on. So let's jump right into the vlog piece of the video. All right, so it is ASMR voice time. Um, it was a very dreary, cold day in H-Town. So that is why you see me all bundled up in layers in my athleisure. So we're just going to walk on into the mall, baby, and see what they got going on up in here. All right, so here I am at... Um, this is a Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh yeah, the struggle is real. Did not have much luck with the items up in here, as you will see. So yeah, these are some shop shops. Um, with almost every bottom I buy, I always have the gaping in the back, as you can see. So yeah, that wasn't gonna work. The length was great because usually shop shops are too short on me, but I like the length of these. They were they were cute. They were cute. And I believe I tried on a size uh, 12 or 13, I can't remember. But those are the shops. Okay, and now we have Abercrombie & Fitch's version of high-waisted jeans. Oh, I noticed that with every brick and mortar store, their version of high-waisted jeans is mid-waist on me. I have a long torso, I'm 5'9", so I usually, I've never had luck with my high-waisted jeans in a store, so these didn't work. Um, and now we are at um, American Eagle. These shorts were really cute, but they were tight in the front and loose in the back, which was really strange. So those did not work, and they had the gaping, so womp womp. Sad, sad, sad. I love the color, love the length. Again, these are supposed to be high-waisted um, shout shouts. And we got the same issue. They are actually mid-rise on me and they have the gaping. So it's a, a Sunogo. Really sad. I love the wash on these. I love the distressing. It was like the perfect jean in every way except for the waist. Just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give as a high-waisted shout, shout. Just not happening. Or let me say short, short. These are supposed to be the festival wide leg jeans. Um, they were cute. I tried these on in two sizes and you will see that um, they were not wide enough for my liking. I like a pretty exaggerated wide leg jean and they were not high waisted. They were mid rise. However, I still really liked them for some reason and they look better in person than on camera. Um, I think once I style them with like some espadrilles or some mules, they'll look really cute. And now I had to do a squat test y'all. Yeah. See, we got a little bit of, butt crack out in the back so i have to be careful with the types of bottoms i mean the type of shirt i wear with that um these pants reminded me of the jeans that i would have worn in high school um just terrible the fit is just horrible the distressing the light distressing is horrible um so i ended up getting the shout shouts and the festival jeans and i got them in a size 12 for both the festival jeans i believe were 59 which is pretty overpriced to me however comma the material was was worth it. It was mostly cotton, I think 84% and 2% elastane. The next level stretch shorts, those were $29.99. And those were buy one, get one half off, but I didn't want another pair. So I just got those two items. And this one, I had a few more extra materials beyond the cotton and elastane. I think it had poly polyester in there too. Anytime I buy jeans, it needs to be mostly cotton. And then just want to take a quick shot of the folks in the store. Um kind of give you an idea of what they had in there that's the men's side but yeah that was my trip there and then now we are at forever 21 this dress reminded me of like a chloe kardashian dress that she wore like in in black and white pre you know facial reconstructive surgery but this was like a medium in bay bay it was tight it wasn't it wasn't working um these were supposed to be almost like dress like a dress skirt but you see there's no lining. It's showing every lump and bump you'd have to wear shapewear. 
Uh, this is a bodysuit. Um, I tried this on in black and in white, and I tried it on in a medium, large, and extra large. I ended up getting a large in the black and a medium in the white. And, then, <clears throat> and now it's time for a dance break. Does anybody else do this? With the exception of recording stuff. But hey, I was like, hmm, I'm already filming. I was joking, baby. I dance in the dressing room. I dance at home. I dance in the restaurant. I'll dance at the lounge. I will dance in the grocery store. It don't matter. I, if I'm if I'm feeling the music, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bop to it. I'm going to jam. I'm going to dance. So that's the end of the dance break. Now, back to the haul or the try on. This was another dress in a medium that for whatever reason, the dresses, they just did not have any larges. So I was forced to try them on in mediums. And this one I would have bought if they had an enlarged, but it, it was too tight and it was uncomfortable. This is a cute little crop top. Um, for whatever reason, I've been buying a lot of black tops, which is unusual for me, but I had to grab this. It was just cute, simple, little overpriced. I think this was $15. This baby, woo! I was feeling this top, baby. If man, I would buy this style of shirt in every color, in every length, cropped long i just love this these long sleeve or short sleeve shirts because they are much dressier than buying a t-shirt it's just an elevated basic so yeah i just could not stop looking at myself in the mirror it's my one of my favorite colors to wear you know it was cropped it was just everything and then here we are you know leaving the store and now we are about to get into the rest of the video and we're back so let's get into what i actually purchased from tj maxx i think i have four bags worth of stuff i want a little ham up in there but i got some good stuff like nothing super exciting but exciting to me you know might not be exciting to you but exciting to me so first thing i grabbed was oh child this is big it's a big old bath rug humongous extra large and in charge okay it's basically like a runner so it's gonna be hard to really see, but this was $24. Usually I spend 10 bucks on a bath rug, the end, but I wanted something that was going to be able to go the almost the entire length of the bathroom. So that's why I grabbed that. Next, I got this in the checkout. Um, these are velvet hangers. What's really cool about these is they have like the extended piece on the side where it goes down at an angle. So your clothes won't slip off already because it's velvet but now with like your coats and everything they'll hang ever so gently um and then we also have these little hooks here so if you have like spaghetti strap or tank tops you can hang them right here instead of hanging up there so it gives you some options which is really cool so these are only 9.99 y'all 9.99 for 25 velvet hangers i probably should have grabbed two but yeah it is what it is i'll get, go back and get some more also grabbed a small extendable uh, umbrella to keep in my purse. I have a larger umbrella that I keep in the back seat of my car, but I needed something that I could keep in my purse at all times because the weather is so unpredictable here in Texas. Um, it's been raining for the last two days, so we know that we're moving into the spring wet season. You gotta stay ready with your umbrella. Next, this was probably like the first thing I got super excited about. Um, I had been on the hunt for some mules and I found these, so cute, um, by a brand called House of Harlow 1960. Very lightweight, um, they're size 10, I usually wear size 11. Tried them on my the back of my feet, one hanging off, thank God. Um, these were only, let me check, let's see. These were 28, a tad high to me for TJ Maxx, but I thought this was like an easy way to get into the mule trend, an easy and cheap way without spending a whole bunch of money. Um, something I can slide on if I don't want to put on sandals, I can put these on and I'll look a little bit dressier. So these, you know, mules are a nice way to be dressy without being too dressed up. So you don't have to necessarily have on like ankle strap heels because that's to me, that's like the ultimate, you know, bougie bougie ankle strap heels um, or platforms and then the lowest way that you can still be cute is like some slip on sandals that have straps on them. I feel like straps make everything extra, but these are in between. They got some heels, but they don't have, you know, straps. So they're comfy and cute and neutral colors. So these can go with anything. So got that. 
What's next? What's next? Uh, some fitness. Working on my fitness. So delicious. Oh, what? Fergalicious. Yeah, Fergalicious. Anyway, so got some sports bras. Um, I've been going walking like three times a week, getting my 10,000 steps in each time. Sometimes I go up to 12,000. And I was trying to, you know, analyze the other women that were out there walking and running. And I, you know, it's terrible to look at people's chests. However, comma, I was looking because I wanted to see how they keeping their boobs from not jumping all over the place, right? What I noticed, the difference between the, the ladies who had larger breasts who had no jiggle action versus the women who did is they had the adjustable straps in the back of their sports bras. And usually they were much thicker than this, but I said, okay, we this is a starter pack of the extendable straps and they had the the cross in the back i saw some ladies who had straw uh bras that had multiple straps in the back so they had like one that was adjustable and others were just like i guess for decoration i don't know but i noticed that their boobs were lifted and they weren't jiggling all over the place looking crazy you know hitting them and knocking them out in the face so this was only 19.99 i thought this was a great deal they have the padding in there I like the wide band underneath because a lot of times when I buy sports bras, they don't have like that wide band between where the cups are and the bottom. So you don't have much of cup, you don't have much coverage and you really don't have any support. So I'm hoping that these work out. We shall see. Okay. Next, what do we have? What do we have? Um, um pajamas. So this was a cute little set. Here's the top. And it says, be kind. It's real cute. You know, pink and black. That's like, you know, your typical pajama colors. I love pajama sets. And here's the shorts. Um, yeah, these are nice and soft. They're a little sheer. What clothing, you know, isn't sheer nowadays, but it's just going to be, you know, at home. So not everybody going to be seeing my goodies when I wear this. Uh, what else? A cute little LED projector light on Amazon. These little lights cost way more. This is only $7.99. I've seen projector lights on Amazon that were twice or three times as much. It's small. It's cute. It's a cute little night light. I can't wait to use this um, just for fun. You know, I really don't need a night light, but I always wanted one of these. So I'm excited to use this. It's like the little things in life that make you excited, you know? Next thing I grabbed, or this is really not in order, so I don't know why I'm saying, like, next I bought, like, I don't remember the order I bought this stuff or grabbed it. Um, this came in, like, a three-pack. So, here are the two. And here's the third one. I already filled it with cookies. <laughs> so, um, this was only, I believe this was only $9.99, which I thought was great. So, these are basically to hold cereal, but you can put whatever you want in it. So, yeah, a pack of three. I think this was $9.99, which is great. And it's cute because it's pink. Don't we like it? We like it. Next, from TJ Maxx. Oh, normally I only buy one, you know, body wash. But I went ham in about two. So, I bought this one. Um, it says the Bath Lounge Body Wash Bubble Bath Raspberry Rosé. This one smells so good. Um, it's not super fragrant as far as like the floral smell um yeah I, the raspberry instead of it being like flowers was great because i really don't like the smell of like any type of flower like who does like no so this was cute and then we grabbed this this goat's milk and collagen body wash you know I, a lot of these brands and these body washes and skincare lines they just be saying stuff and it's not legit so I didn't really care about it having goat's milk and collagen and all that stuff because collagen, you have to actually take a pill for it to do anything, you know, to make any effect on your skin. And goat's milk, I can get goat's milk um, soap from Florida when I go home to visit, like the legit, you know, bar. So I really didn't care about that. I was more intrigued by the smell, the orange blossom. So I just said I didn't like flowers, didn't I? What a hypocrite. <laughs> this smells good because um, I guess technically orange blossom is a flower. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> but this smells really good too. And this one was $7.99 and this one was $6.99. Okay? All right, moving right along. I bought something super extra. Look, it's all wrapped up. If you done been to any of these discount stores, you probably know what it is. This gigantic, huge candle. 
I've always wanted to buy like an extra large ridiculous candle. Um, this one was $10. Yep. They had some that were larger than this that were like 16, but this was the biggest one I could find that actually smelled good. Um, has three wicks. This one is sugar petals and citrus natural soy blend candle. So I can't wait to light this bad boy up, put on my little pajamas after I take a bubble bath. Like it's gonna be a whole vibe as the youngins say. So it's gonna be a treat yourself kind of night with all of that, okay? So I think that's everything from TJ Maxx. Now we'll move along to what I actually purchased at the mall. So, oh, this is my American Eagle mag. All right, so from American Eagle, you saw me try on a few pairs of pants and shorts. What I ended up purchasing was the Festival Flare Next Level Stretch Jeans. I got them in a size, I tried them on a size 12 and a 14. Both fit. The 12 is more snug, but as you know, like the more you wear jeans, the more they tend to like stretch out. So I went ahead and got a smaller size. Um, they weren't high waisted. They never claimed to be, or did they? Yes, yeah, it says regular high rise. Most stores, when they say high rise, it ends up being a mid rise on me because I have a long torso and I'm tall. But I kept them because they covered my butt crack. You know, that's leaps and bounds from the jeans of when I was a kid. Um, almost every pair of jeans show my butt crack because everything was low rise back then in the early 2000s. So I can live with the mid rise jeans and I can wear something, you know, like a cute little crop top or something with those and put on a belt and I won't have the gaping in the back like I do with all my jeans that are not high rise. So again, on me, high rise in a store is mid rise. The only place I can get high rise jeans that are legit high rise is from Fashion Nova, which is extremely hit and miss. Sometimes you get a great pair, sometimes you don't. Um, another tip when buying jeans is I always look at the material comp uh, composition. So if it is, does not have any cotton in it, I'm running. Or if it's not a lot of cotton, this one was 84% cotton, 8% polyester, 6% recycled cotton, 2% elastane. This I can rock with. Um, I've seen other jeans where they have like 60% cotton, then rayon and polyester. Er, I'm running. All that rayon, it makes it really stretchy, but then it rips and it loses its um, rigidness. So the jeans won't stay up. So anytime you buy jeans, like ideally you want to get something that's like 99% cotton, 1% elastane. That would be like good American jeans, which I have yet to purchase. That I, I've seen that composition before, but in most like brick and mortar stores, you're not gonna see 99% cotton, 1% elastane. This is not gonna happen. But this I thought was, this is good enough. You know, we'll rock with these. I'm gonna probably wear these with these little cute little mules and a crop top. I'm gonna be killing it this summer. It's gonna be cute. All right, so shorts. Oh, I love shorts, but they don't love me. I have a really hard time finding shorts that fit, that are high waisted that are wide enough in the thigh to where they don't rub together. Um, my go-to types of shorts are like trouser shorts. Basically, are made of the same, they're made of the same material like trouser pants, but they're shorts. Um, but I do want to have at least one nice pair of denim shout shorts to wear in the summertime. These might do the trick. Um, these are the high rise 90s boyfriend short. I got these in a 12 as well. Um, they're not high rise on me, they're mid rise. They got the gaping in the back, you saw that in the video. But um, again, I think these will do until I can find like another brand that actually has legit high waisted um, shorts. Um, they don't show my booty cheeks too much. Um, so we are gonna see how these turn out in the summertime. I'm excited to wear these and wear cute little tops with them, body suits, crop tops, things of that nature. So that's all I got from American Eagle, just those two things. I thought that it was buy one, get one free, but it was only buy one, get one free on certain jeans, not all of them. So yeah, I paid a lot more than I wanted to. I think both pairs were like $86. That's a lot. It's a lot for jeans. Um, that's still not exactly what I wanted, but I liked them enough, borderline loved them enough to buy them. And my rule of thumb is if I don't love it, I don't buy it. This was close to love, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. All right, last um store i went to and actually bought stuff from was forever 21 
who the ghetto child the the bag ripped on me y'all look look the bag just just fell apart i don't know what happened look at that it just ripped so i ended up having to put the february 21 bag in the american eagle bag so i was pleasantly surprised by this trip to forever 21 the last Cazillion times I went to Forever 21, I didn't buy nothing, nothing, Nathan. This time, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I think it's a combination of me knowing what my style is and what looks good on me, and also their inventory changed. So, I like to describe my style as like sophisticated, sort of sexy, slash fun. Okay, and with a little bit of a like 1940s twist slash bohemian twist. That's too many different adjectives, but we're going to rock with that. Okay, until I can like narrow it down some more. So I'm going to say my the best for last, like Vanessa Williams. We're going to say the best for last. Well, the second best, we're going to say that for last too. Okay, so the first thing I bought that I've seen a lot of people buy are these little, I don't know, I guess like the notched crop tops. I always saw them on other people, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if it looked good on me. I loved it. You, you can see, like, in the, the vlog how I was feeling this top, y'all. And I'm not big on the crop tops, but my plan is to wear the crop tops with all my high-waisted items so I don't show too much belly belly. Um, but I really like this. This was only $19.99, a little high, Forever 21. But, you know, everything going up. Probably five years ago, this shirt would have been $10. But that's we not in that world no more. Everything's a little bit higher than normal. But it's got a nice um, structure to it. Um, it's not thin at all. And I like this. Bought another black shirt. Um, I've been on black a lot lately. Like, I don't know. Usually I don't care to wear black shirts because I feel like it doesn't flatter my face. But maybe something changed. My skin tone changed. I don't know. But I really... The reason why I feel like my skin has changed or my skin tone is because I used to have hyperpigmentation and dark circles under my eyes and I've been going to a dermatologist and I have a skincare routine. I've had it for like a year now so my skin has improved drastically. I've been feeling black tops lately. I bought this black bodysuit. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been looking for square neck tops on Shein forever. And they never have my size or they're cut funny or something like that. This fits perfectly, perfectly. And the straps down here, they're long enough to go around my derriere, which is great. Okay. Uh, I also bought that same top in white. Man, I'm so excited to wear this, y'all. You have no idea. Same thing. I've been on a hunt for a white square neck top for years, probably four or five and it, again, I was looking on Shein because Shein had a whole bunch of them and they just always look bad once I brought them home or, you know, had them shipped to my house. They did not look good. But this is going to look good, y'all. Um, I think in the video I tried on a large but I, or extra large, but it was not tight enough. It wasn't giving me any cleavage. This is a medium, so I'm hoping that'll give me the oomph that I'm looking for um, when I wear it with my outfits. Okay, so my first, like, favorite, favorite, favorite thing I bought... Like I was saying, I love like 1940s to like 1970s aesthetic. Oh, y'all, this shirt, it's like my favorite thing ever right now. It's got the little zip right here so you can give extra cleavage. It's looking very 1970s, but then what makes it modern is, bam, it's cut out in the back back, okay? So it's cropped and it's cut out in the back back. That's what makes it more modern. So you're getting 70s vintage vibes in the front. But then you're getting modern, you know, cuteness in the back. So we like that. Okay? We loving it. Next thing that was my one of my favorites. So this will be like second runner-up. This is something I probably wouldn't normally wear. What is what a top it? Oh, but I, I could not resist when I saw it. First, I'm going to show you the pants. This is a set. Ribbed pants, we've seen these a million times, yada yada. You know, you can wear it as a beach cover up, whatever, right? Flared, sits up high waisted. Okay, cool. I have a pair of pants like these in gray. However, comma, the top though. <gasps> Hoo, baby. The top, it is a little bandeau, little halter situation. 
So it has like, got a keyhole here and you got straps that you can put around your neck. I can't wait to wear this. I'm gonna be killing the game. It's giving 70s, but again, modern. So this is gonna be super cute on. I cannot wait to put this on. I'm probably taking a lot of pictures in this. I'm, I can mix and match this with other things. Um, this top with some high-waisted trousers, the, sh the pants with uh, another like crop top style top or bodysuit. There's so many ways I can mix and match just this set alone with a blazer, without a blazer, with a jacket, with a jean jacket, you know, whatever. Sweatshirt, whatever. It's, it's going to be a lot to go on with that. Now, my most favorite item that I purchased today, it's going to be so simple, but it was amazing to me because it has every feature that I like in a top. This shirt, him. Woo, 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 woo. It was $14.99. This is a medium. The other 70s style shirt was a medium. This is giving more 1950s homemaker vibes, but it's modern because it is what it is cropped. Um, it's got the longer sleeves. Okay. So they the sleeves cut like about right here versus being way up here. Um, it's in one of my favorite colors, baby blue. Baby blue looks great on me. It's tight. It's fitted. And it looks very chic. You can make this look very young and preppy, or you can make it look very chic, or you can make it look beachy in summer, depending on how you mix and match it. Like if I want to put this on with my cutoff shorts, I'll look more beach ready. Or if I want to wear this with some high-waisted trouser shorts, like the options are limitless with this. So I try to be intentional with my, per my purchases. Um, I don't like to shop throughout the year. I shop seasonally when I can. Sometimes we skip some seasons. We don't get to shop every season, but um, I probably won't buy anything else for the springtime with the exception of like a, another bathing suit. Um, I've been on the hunt for a leather skirt, have not found one yet that I like, a leather mini skirt. So um, that's all I purchased today. I'm saying that's all. I, I went ham, I bought a lot of stuff, but again, I don't, I'm not a big shopper. I don't really enjoy it that much, but today I did. Um, I guess because I went in with no, no set plan, but I already know in the back of my mind what stuff I need and what my style is. So when you know your style as far as like home decor and your personal style when it comes to fashion, it makes shopping a lot easier. So um, I always have a list in my phone of the items I need and colors, what fabrics, materials, uh, cuts, all that stuff. So I can always remind myself before I go what I need. But because I've been obsessing over my list of clothing items I didn't have to even look at it before I went I already knew what I wanted as soon as I went to the store like boom I saw this I saw this I saw this and I grabbed it and tried it on the end so anyway hope that this video was entertaining um maybe I'll make more videos like this even though I'm not like a big shopper but this was fun so it's totally different than what I've been doing I think I've done a couple haul videos but maybe I'll start doing a little bit more you know maybe I will become one of those shopping people shopping addicts no we're not gonna no we're not gonna speed over my life we not become addicted to nothing except for the good Lord. How about that? So anyway, um, that is all for today. And I'll holler at y'all later on. Until next time. Bye.